For at TV, the world is thinking. So the first job we thought of was let's land on Mars. Let's land on Mars July 4th of 1997. This was 93, it takes a year to get there. We only have three years to do it. But let's do it, let's make it happen. And then I cast about and started asking questions. What's important? And people started talking about the science on Mars. So I said, what's the most important thing? What is the problem you're trying to solve? Don't give me analysis paralysis. And then it became clear. Number one priority, land safely on Mars. You can't do science unless you land safely. Number two priority, let's deploy a rover. It's not been done before. And number three, do good science. And all of a sudden, when the priorities were in place, it became clear that the old way of landing on other planets using retro rockets, which are expensive and give you precision when you don't need it. If I have a rover, I don't need precision. I land and go wherever I want. All of a sudden, I could rid myself of the old techniques. And we appointed a fellow named Tony Spear, who was a young 58 years old, and he selected a few people, and the rest of the team got self-selected. And three years later, a spacecraft landed on Mars, and we didn't use retro rockets. We used airbags. And they said, if I don't have to worry about where I land, what if I go take the technology from automobile airbags? And they went to a company in Delaware. They built big airbags, put a little tetrahedron in the center, so when it landed, and the airbags deflated, you could get off the platform any way you wish. And the airbags protected it, and it bounced around. And then, of course, the articles came out. It's impossible. You cannot do it. And I am now going to show you a video of what scientific achievement and success in the presence of all the cynics looks like. I might say what you're going to see initially is the Pathfinder spacecraft going towards Mars. Then you're going to see the excitement. Why the excitement? The spacecraft landed on Mars from a time standpoint, but we hadn't heard from it for a few hours. And you're going to see the faces of first Tony Spear and the other young people celebrating their success. And then you're going to see an actual video. It's, it's a, a graphic display of the airbags. We couldn't take pictures of that. But then you'll see the pictures taken from the Pathfinder spacecraft as the little Sojourner rover came off. Look at that. They're crying. That's what success looks like. These young people did it. See it bounce? A tetrahedron opens up, it could go any direction. That's from Mars. There it's moving. By defining the problem, you almost didn't need to be a rocket scientist to figure out how to land. <laughs> and by the way, rocket scientist is a misnomer. Somehow people associate science with achievement. Being an engineer is a good thing, too. <laughs>